July 9th, 2012. It's just before 8 a.m. in Cedar Falls, Iowa. At Peregrine Financial Group, a leading independent commodities brokerage firm, an employee makes a startling discovery. She immediately calls for help. 911, what's the problem? Um, there's a car behind our building with a tube from the exhaust into the window, and there's a person inside. Okay. And the car's running. Can you tell if they are I No, I haven't been down. I'm on the top floor. Moments later, her co-workers go out to investigate. I just opened the door, but I don't know if... Okay, are you watching it from the... Yes, I'm watching it right now. Okay. I've got a group of people out okay. there. Oh, my God. Ma'am, can you tell me what's going on? <laughs> oh, my... She recognizes the vehicle's occupant. It's the chairman and CEO of Peregrine, Russell Wasendorf. Is he with your business? He owns our business. He's the owner of the business? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Wasendorf was alive. He was breathing, but he was incoherent. Um, police say that he had been downing vodka and sleeping pills. He was airlifted to the hospital a short time later. Police find a signed letter inside Wasendorf's car. It reveals an extraordinary secret that will forever change the lives of more than 200 employees and 13,000 clients. This is my last confession, the letter begins. I have committed fraud. <laughs>